I wasn't born or raised a Christian. I grew up in a very traditional Chinese family. I was the only child of the family, so I was raised pampered and spoiled. I was quite an angry kid back then. I didn't think of what I wanted to be. I just wanted to make a lot of money. So three years ago, I started a hawker business with a partner of mine. We expanded too fast and there was a lack of manpower and I soon burned out. I had no life, huh? I really had no life. So every day is very meaningless. It's just work and sleep, work and sleep. I was basically alone. No one really understood or know my pain and I wouldn't share it with anyone because uh, I didn't want anyone to know how vulnerable I was. So in order to escape this reality, I started drinking a lot. When I was drinking, when I was high, I would just forget about everything. There wasn't once that when I go drinking, I wouldn't have a hangover. It's an everyday thing. Because of this drinking habit and the places I go to, I racked up a huge debt on my credit card bills. In order to solve all these problems, I became an unlicensed money lender runner. AKA, I became a along runner. I was told to splash paint at houses and I was told to give, issue them warning letters. I tried to justify my own means uh, to make myself feel less guilty. Despite me being dressed like a ninja, I got caught 20 hours later after my first job. It was really quite embarrassing because I was handcuffed outside my door. A lot of thoughts ran through my mind like, what did my mom do to deserve such a son like me? So going to and full court, uh, I was finally incarcerated on 22nd October 2018. And it was the most heart-wrenching moment of my life. So I was sentenced 14 months and three strokes of cane. And that was the day I last saw Singapore. After some time in prison, I was getting burdened by a lot of overthinking. I miss my family and friends. I miss my loved ones, the food, the drinks, the alcohol, the cigarettes. And two weeks after uh, in imprisonment, a guy came into my cell and he brought in this really thick book that looks like an encyclopedia. I was quite intrigued because there was nothing to do inside. So for the first time in my life, I started reading the Bible. I realized it was a study Bible. Uh, at first, it was all interesting, like all storybooks uh, in Genesis, like how God created the world and stuff like that. And at that point of time, I started thinking, is God real? So finally, on 24th of November 2018, when the lights were off, I nudged my friend and asked him, Bro, how do I pray? Because my concept of a Christian prayer is something, it's like a long speech that you have to memorize. And he said, No, bro. A Christian prayer is a conversation with the Father himself. So it can start off like, Father, I know this is going to be awkward because this is my first time talking to you and doing this. And you just move off from there. And I started praying. I do not know what came over me, but I just confess of every single sin. Right then when I said Amen, all these burdens has been lifted off all my shoulders and I felt so light. And for the past 30 years of my life, I have never experienced such peace. And I gave my life to Christ then. I do not know how, but I started crying and God felt so real then. I finally got released on 2nd of August, 2019. And that cell made, made me a promise in prison, saying that uh, when I got released, uh, he's going to bring me to Kingdom City. It's really amazing coming to Kingdom City. It really feels like home. I believe life is a lot more meaningful now because God is there for me. I mean, compared to the last time uh, when I was chasing after money, now it's, it's different every day. It's just different things to look forward to. Uh, serving in church, uh, connecting with people. God changed me from an immature, angsty boy to someone so happy. Someone who never takes things for granted and who appreciates everything in life. It's because of Him that now I am all free from all shame and condemnation. When it's the darkest, He will shine the brightest. For anyone who believes in Christ, He is a new creation. The old has passed 
and the new has come.